Hello, this is Michelle Geomatix showing you the proper way to export data from Trimble's Pathfinder Office. I have some data that's been collected with TerraSync and processed in Pathfinder Office. You can see a series of SSF and COR files here. And what I'd like to do is export this information from Pathfinder Office so that I can use it in GIS and have all of the coordinate system information set up properly. Let's start by coming into Pathfinder Office and opening those files. So here are all the files. I'm going to hold down the control button as I click all the COR files and then open to add them all to Pathfinder Office at once. So I have several points here. They've already been corrected, so I do not need to do the differential correction. I just need to export these so that they are in the right coordinate system. Now, two things to keep in mind here. What do I mean by right coordinate system? Well, first of all, I have no choice on the matter about the datum. These data are in some particular datum. Because they have been post-processed against a base station, a core's base station, I know those core stations and I know that the correct datum is NAT83, cores 96. I do not get to choose the datum that I think I want it to be in. I have to choose the one that the data are in. And I know that because I've researched the base stations used and I know that they're based on the NAT83 CORS96 datum, as nearly every CORS base station is. Secondly, in terms of a projection, I can choose what I want the projection to be. And here I'm going to choose UTM and Zone 12 North because this is in Arizona. So the first thing I'm going to do is come into Utilities, Export, and it automatically selects all the cores files that I have open in Pathfinder Office. If I want to export files that are not currently open in Pathfinder Office, I can just browse to them. The output folder, I'm going to put in the same location as the input data. So I'll put it in the May 2015 folder. For my export setup, I'm going to use this in ArcMap, so I'll choose the Sample Esri Shapefile Setup. And I can view the properties, the coordinate system property, and I see I've already got it set to the correct one. So here's the datum. Again, I'm choosing the datum that I know my GPS data are in based on the datum of the base station I corrected the data against. The projection I'm choosing is UTM 12 North. If I want to change that, I can just come into Properties and go to the Coordinate System tab where I can change this to whatever I want. But again, just to really emphasize this point, you do not get to just choose whatever datum you want. The data are created with the assumption of a particular datum. It's your job to know what that datum is and assign it appropriately. I know that it's this datum because most of the core's base stations are set to this datum, not all of them. This is where you have to do a little research and figure out what datum your base station is using. The other thing that you will want to do here for your shapefile is to set the projection file and you can see I've got it set up to be the same one, NAT83 CORS96 UTM Zone 12 North. Now this is a little tricky. These projection files used to be included with Esri software and installed on your computer, wherever you have ArcMap installed. It's not done that way anymore. They are streamed through the internet. So if you want to get this, this projection file on your computer somewhere where you can point to it, you need to save it from inside of ArcMap. So let's jump into ArcMap for a moment. I'm going to leave this open as we're going to come right back to it. And I'm going to open up ArcMap where I have a new map created. 
Now you can go to any dialog box where you access coordinate system information. One such place is in the Layer Properties on the Coordinate System tab. I can set the coordinate system of the data frame. Now you'll notice I have some favorites up here, one of which is the one that we're currently using, NAD 1983 Cores 96 UTM Zone 12 North. Just tapping on the favorites sets the data frame coordinate system property to that datum and projection. If you don't have the favorite, you can navigate to the location of the appropriate one. So for this one I would go projected coordinate system, UTM, and then I don't want to just go NAT83 because I want that special NAT83 cores 96. So I'll go to North America and scroll down to NAT83 cores 96 in my case Zone 12 North. Once you navigate to this or any projection that you want to have quick access to, you can save it on your disk on your computer by adding it to your favorites. And then once it's in the favorites, not only will you have quick access to it in any of these data frame or rather coordinate system dialog boxes in ArcMap, so you don't have to navigate, but you can also save it by right clicking and doing save as you get to navigate to the location where you want to save it and save that projection file on your computer. I've already done that so you see it in this folder. Alright so I'm going to jump back into Pathfinder Office and you see that's how I set this up. I clicked on browse I navigated to the location where I had already saved the PRJ file. Alright, so I've got everything set up. I'll go ahead and execute this by clicking OK. And it says that my export file was created. So I'll close this and close Pathfinder Office. I'm going to come back into ArcMap and see if I can find that data. So I'll come into Art Catalog and just navigate to the location where I saved the data. So I'll just add this to ArcMap and I see these points similar to how I saw them in Pathfinder Office and clusters. When I go back into the data frame properties, again my data frame is set to the coordinate system that I set a moment ago, NAT83 Cores 96 UTM Zone 12 North. If I want to see the coordinate system of my layers, I can expand the Layers option and I see that this point generic shapefile has the same coordinate system. Now I'm going to add an Esri base map, so I'll add the imagery with labels. I'm going to change the color on my points so they'll stand out a little brighter against the darker image background. And I see the points fall in some fields and if I zoom out a little to get some context of where this is, I see here's the Salt River, so we're in Arizona, which is what I expected because of my Zone 12 North. And there you can see it falls along the Salt River. If you use the wrong datum or the wrong projection or you go astray at anywhere in this workflow, you may end up with data that don't line up where they were collected with the GPS unit. And oftentimes the problem is not the GPS unit, but it's getting tangled up in this workflow of exporting the data properly so that the coordinate system is appropriately defined and ArcMap can use that information to uh, map the data in its appropriate place. Okay, I hope that helps. We provide one-on-one -on -one and group training online and in person. Please visit us at geomatics.com. This is Michelle Maddox saying goodbye for now.